What is up guys? Welcome back for our week 17 builder for the NBA. This week we are taking on probably the toughest opponent we have had to face so far in draft league format, period. Jar, aka Jar Boss, aka JB Productions, aka Jarrett. Anyway, uh, his team is the Lincoln Staraptors and uh, I'm just going to pull them up real quick. And looking at his team, it's like just so scary guys. Like honestly, <laughs> let me go over it real quick. Landorus Eye, Reuniclus, Snorlax, Chestnut, Hitmontop, Lantern. He's rocking our mascot as a Mega, Mega Absol. Our mascot for our team, of course, the Montreal Absols. He's also got Manaphy. Like, this man has Landorus Eye, Reuniclus, Mega Absol, Manaphy. Like, it's ridiculous. Rhyperior and then Dusclops and Klefki as walls. Like, it's absolutely stupid how bulky and how offensive Jar's team is. Uh, he personally doesn't like it. I would be very happy with a team like his, uh, especially with Snorlax. I've been trying to trade one of my Pokemon for Snorlax um, for a while with him, and he just doesn't want to do it. But anyway, uh, so let's get into our team. Uh, this week we're bringing Plantains, the Venusaur. I'm bringing a Choice Scarf set, uh, Venusaur, with Leaf Storm, Knock Off, Giga Drain, and Sludge. Now, uh, if you see on his team, he has a Chestnut. I can't bring Sludge Bomb or he walls me out completely. So I decided to bring Sludge instead, which is actually a really cool move. Uh, it's only base 65, but it still has the 35% chance to poison. It doesn't count as a bomb move uh, or a bullet move, so it, it hits uh, Chestnut. And it does about half to it, so if he expects me to uh, go for a Sludge Bomb on a certain turn, uh, I can just throw off the Sludge and then be done with it. Uh, the next move we're carrying here is over... Uh, the uh, next um, thing to mention, sorry, is that we're carrying Overgrow over Chlorophyll. Uh, reason is, and the reason I'm bringing a Choice Scarf set, I should probably talk about that first, uh, is because he has Manaphy, and Manaphy is absolutely devastating. Like, it's, it's scary as all hell, and it can just, like, run through me uh, if he sets up with it. Um, so I need something to counteract it. Calm Mind Manaphy, I'm not too worried about because I can weaken it with... Uh, with Thunderous and then bring this thing in and fire off a Leaf Storm and knock it out. It's really, um, it's uh, Tail Glow Manaphy that I'm scared of. I basically have to sack something if he gets up a Tail Glow. And I have to go into Venusaur and I have to Leaf Storm that thing and knock it out. Like, if he has no bulk investment, he will die to a Leaf Storm if he has no special defense boosts or anything like that. So, that's why we're bringing Venusaur. I'm basically putting the game on the line to a 90% move, but I don't have a choice because there's nothing else on my team that can straight Oko Manaphy other than this Leaf Storm. Um, like, Thunderous' Thunderbolt comes very close, but I fully expect him to bring a Wakan Berry uh, with uh, potentially a Rain Dance Calm Mindset. If he brings it, that's fine. Whatever, we'll play around it, but I do have Grass Knot on, uh, on Thunderous. It's not going to do too much to Manaphy, but regardless, um, we'll, we'll figure out a way. Anyway, our next Pokemon here is Uxie. CTC uh, is coming back this week with a Culver Berry set rocking Stealth Rocks, Ice Punch, U-Turn, and Reflect. Now, why am I bringing these moves? First of all, Stealth Rocks are very good against his team, obviously. Uh, he doesn't have a plethora of ways to get rid of uh, hazards. He really only has the Hitmon top now that I'm looking at it. So, getting up rocks is pretty crucial. Unfortunately, I don't have a Spiker on my team. Otherwise, I would have probably brought it. But uh, Uxie, uh, putting up Stealth Rocks is good enough. Why am I running Culver Berry? Because... Landorus I only has two hit uh, two moves to hit me with U-turn which doesn't do as much as you'd think and knock off which normally would do a lot but I have a Culver Berry so I'm able to hit a, a, to eat up uh, Landorus's knockoff as well as uh, Absol's knockoff uh, you can see here that we're running 192 speed this is to outspeed max speed Absol Jolly Nature uh, before it mega evolves so I'll be able to get off a U-turn if he wants to sucker punch me that's fine I have the Culver Berry so running Ice Punch of course for that Landorus and Reflect is there because if I get off a Reflect and I'm able to switch into my Scizor and start setting up later in the game, that's amazing. Like, I could straight just, like, knock out his entire team. So, uh, I didn't really have a, another move that I really wanted to run, so this is probably the best option for me. Next up, we have Broom. Bringing a very cool set with Broom this week. I've got a um, Babiri Berry Play Rough Drain Punch Heal Bell Belly Drum set. You guys can see the EVs over here. 208 HP. Why am I running 208, 208 HP? Because Iron Tail doesn't take me out from full from Mega Absol. So, uh, unless rocks are up, then he can definitely take me out from full. But I have to run this investment because my Play Rough also doesn't knock him out if I'm not invested with this much attack. If I invest a little bit lower, I have a chance not to knock him out, so I pretty much have to do this. The Beberi Berry, the Beberi Berry is there because I want to eat up a hit from the Mega Absol 
uh, take the Iron Tail and hit it back with a Play Rough or a Drain Punch. And then he gives me Unburden because he pops my Babiri Berry. I'm able to outspeed him on the following turn, Drain Punch him again, go back up to near full. So that's the point of this set. The reason I'm running Heal Bell on here is in case uh, Mega Scizor gets burned. Mega Scizor is pretty much our win con, as I found out from a test game earlier. Um, it's It does really, really well against him. Like, he doesn't have a good immediate countermeasure to it. Uh, he has to br pretty much bring uh, Babiri or Choppleberry Rhyperior with Fire Punch to be able to knock me out. And that's why we're running Reflect. So we can pretty much live the Fire Punch very easily and then just proceed to Bullet Punch twice and knock him out after Swords Dance. So that's why Broom has Heal Bell. It also has Heal Bell for itself because his countermeasure to me being Unburdened and, um, and Belly Drummed Up is probably to go into Klefki and just paralyze me. Uh, so if I can knock it out with the following Drain Punch or come very close to knocking it out, um, if it's not physically defensive, uh, obviously, then I can Heal Bell on the following turn and then he has to Thunder Wave me again. Or I can Heal Bell on a Pokemon that doesn't knock me out and just wants to like bring me down lower for a guaranteed knockout on the following turn. Then I get my speed back, which is amazing. And Belly Drum is there, of course, because if he should go for Iron Tail onto Slurpuff, he will um, he will trigger my Unburden, as well as uh, giving me the max attack. I will live on a on a bit of HP. If he doesn't bring Sucker Punch, pretty much I have to scout for it. He might bring like Knock Off, Ice Beam, uh, Sucker Punch. Uh, sorry, Knock Off, Ice Beam, Flamethrower, and Iron Tail. So if he does bring that set, if he doesn't have any form of priority, I can get back all my health with Slurpuff. The speed on here, the 188 speed. Uh, with a jolly nature is enough to outspeed Scarfed Landorus Eye always. So that's why we're running that. Our next Pokemon here is Twerk the Mamoswine. Now Twerk, Twerk can put in a lot of work on his team. You can see I'm running Stealth Rocks here, right? So I'm running Dual Rockers. I might switch this out right before the game. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but having Dual Rockers against him is, is kind of important because if he predicts the first one and gets rid of it, I can still get a Brocks on him later. So that's, uh, that's why that's there. Uh, we've got Earthquake, Endeavor, and Ice Shard. Why Endeavor? Because I'm Focus Ash, obviously, but also because if I let this thing get low and, like, get down to its Sash, later on in the game, if he tries to set up with Curse Lax or Calm Mind Reuniclus, I can Endeavor them down to 1 HP and knock them out on the following turn. So, Mamoswine is very, very important. Uh, I actually did it in my test game. I Endeavored down a Snorlax to 8%. Uh, as it came in just to knock me out, just for the knockout. Uh, he couldn't go into his Lando because I could Ice Shard. He didn't really want to go into his Manaphy because he would take a lot of damage. If he was defensive, I would outspeed him at 275 speed. So he has to be careful with that because I can just Endeavor into Earthquake. Uh, so there's there's a, quite a few factors there uh, as to why I'm running Earthquake. Now again, Stealth Rocks is a maybe. I don't know yet if I'm going to run it, but it makes sense with the Focus Sash. So having dual Stealth Rockers is not that bad this week. Like I said before, he only has one form of Hazard Removal, which is Hitmon Top, which doesn't do too well against my team in general. So uh, that's it for a Twerk. Next on, let's move uh, to Edward. Like I said before, Scizor is looking like our win con this game. Uh, which kind of is, is really funny because I'm bringing a defog set over roost. Why am I bringing defog? Because Again, I can win with Slurpuff uh, under the right conditions So I might want to get rid of hazards at some point. I might also want to get rid of them for uh, Focus Ash um, Focus Ash Mamoswine to put in work, you know, so that's uh, that's always an option um, and then we have Swords Dance, Bug Bite, Bullet Punch. Um, the test game that I had, Lantern was brought, which makes a lot of sense because I do have a Thunderous, uh, and that thing completely walls Thunderous outside of Grass Knot, so, um, definitely, definitely makes sense. Uh, but, um, Swords Dance, I can set up on a, on a few Pokemon in this team. Namely, Chestnut, because I don't see that thing bringing HP Fire, or a Belly Drum set for that matter. Um, I also can set up on Rhyperior if he's not bringing, um, if he doesn't bring the uh, the fire punch, I can set up on Klefki any day of the week. If he brings Klefki, it's free setup fodder. If he's Scarf Landorus and he locks himself into knockoff, setup fodder. So there's a lot of Pokemon that I can just set up on on his team, uh, and I want to be able to uh, to do that as uh, efficiently as possible. I set up on the Lantern as it failed to get a burn on me. I outsped it on the following turn because I actually didn't outspeed it uh, at first. It was faster than me because uh, Lantern's actually pretty fast, surprisingly. Um, but then after the Mega Evolution, I was able to outspeed it at 186, so that was kind of nice. Uh, and then able to knock it out with a plus two Bug Bite, was able to take out Lantern just straight away, like right off the bat, because we're at max attack adamant. Uh, the HP investment is there, uh, of course, to be able to live Fire Punch from Rhyperior, to be able to take uh, certain hits that I normally wouldn't be able to take very well. 
Uh, for example, Landorus's Earth Power I should be able to take with this investment, um, except Specs, I think, and a couple of other things. I just can't get burned. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try everything in my power not to get burned. That's like Scizor's main weakness. If it gets burned, it's, it's neutralized. So, anyway, uh, moving on, let's go to uh, Thunderous over here. Uh, Thundolos, the last Pokemon on our team that we're bringing for Jar. It's a pretty standard set with uh, Thunderbolt, HP Ice. HP Ice is there in case he's not Scarf Lando, which also explains the speed over here. Uh, I don't outspeed anything else, so I just want to outspeed his base 101 and his base 100, being Landorus and Manaphy. Uh, 252 uh, special attack, uh, paired with 80, um, 80 HP with leftovers. I have nowhere else to invest the HP. That's what we're going to do. Prankster, Thunder Wave is a, uh, an emergency measure against uh, Manaphy, if it is Calm Mind. Uh, without rain dance for whatever reason because I don't see why you wouldn't run that um, But anyway, that's uh, that's there just in case I do have to T wave something like let's say a chestnut that's gotten its breast uh, It's it's breast <laughs> It's uh, it's sub broken. I don't know why I said that um, It's sub broken. I can thunder wave it if it's uh, like the salic berry um, Belly drum set I can just thunder wave it and proceed to knock it out with like anything really like you see or uh, or slurp puff so that's pretty much going to be the team, guys. This is going to be one of the hardest games we have this entire season. Um, I don't know if I can win. I'm just going to say this straight up. I don't know if I can win. I don't know if I'm on Jar's caliber. Um, but if I come out, if I, if I come out with a win on this one, it's it's pretty impressive. So. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the game. I, I thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see that game tomorrow, definitely it'll come up in your sub box. Check out my Twitter and my Facebook. They're always in the description down below. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Ciao.